Hey guys, Motocar Nut here, and today we're working on the Subaru. This is the EJ25 block. Uh, this engine is from Subaru made it from 1989 all the way up to 2021. This is a very popular engine. This is found in almost all the Subarus. Um, the block itself, the EJ25, then you have the heads. They could be a double overhead cam. It could be a single overhead cam. Um, turbocharged engine, normally aspirated. So if you have it, it says an EJ25. All right, you can learn a lot of stuff. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to rebuild this one. It's all apart, obviously. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to make a video on how to put it together. This video is how to take out the pistons. From the FB, the new one that replaces this engine, it's different. Uh, I have a video on that one if you want to watch it. I'll, sell, I'll put a link on, on below. But the EJ25s have plugs here. There's one here, one here, and on the other side, I'm going to remove it and show you what they look like. But there's plugs that would have to come out first. It's going to be a 14 millimeter hex. It looks like this. They go here, you take them out. It has a little crush ring. Uh, you have to expect that crush ring. If it's not smashed beyond repair, you can still reuse it. But normally it's a good idea to replace it because if it does leak, it's going to be buried once you put this together and then it won't be a good thing. So it's good to replace them. All right, when you take them out, you're going to have to crank the engine until, I'm doing a demonstration over here, until this piston is in line inside over there. I'm going to show you the other one. All right, but this is to give you a visual out, out how it's how it is out. You're gonna get some kind of like sandpaper or something here, right? You're gonna um, clean up the groove. There's gonna be a circlip like this. First, you take that circlip out. Mind you, everything is gonna be done through this hole. It's gonna be right there, and then you're gonna need some kind of a tool. They have tools, I made this tool. What this tool does is I slide it in, right? And I cock this to the side and I use a hammer, a slap, a slap hammer to pop it out. Cause it's gonna be in here. So why I'm saying over here, you should like sand this a little bit down with a very fine grit paper, you know, cause it's gonna have a little carbon buildup and it's gonna be harder to slide out the pin, the wrist pin, all right? So this tool is gonna go in here, all the way into the other side and come out and it's gonna pop it out. Once it's popped out, then you just put the um, connecting rod down, turn the piston a little bit, crank it, and it's gonna pop it out. All right, well, I'll show you how to do it on the other side. Now, in the bell housing side, you have to take this one off, the hole's gonna be here, then you're gonna to have to take this plate off and you're gonna see the other one that's gonna be right over there. All right, so this, you have to be careful. You usually got to use a slap screwdriver. Looks like uh, this type of deal. Where it's an impact when you sl slam it with a hammer, it gives a little, you know, a little pressure to break the uh, screws loose because you may not be able to get them off. And if you try to do it with a regular screwdriver by hand, you may strip it. All right, this is the setup I got. Put it on here. And over here, we're gonna whack it with a hammer. And as you hit it with a hammer, you turn it a little bit like this, like so. Two. And there you go. And then you just do that to the other one. You're gonna need this type of uh, uh, imp uh, manual impact. Then you can little pry it up a little bit, it'll be stuck. And there's going to be an O-ring. This should be replaced as well. All right. And now, when I crank the engine, uh, you're going to crank the crank, you're going to see, you put it in line over here where the wrist pin is, and then we're going to do the operation. But before we do that, we're going to take these off and take this plate off. Okay, you gotta take out these hex screws. They're four millimeter. And you have to pry it a little bit, don't bend it. It's held on with a gasket maker. Okay, it comes out. 
And then it exposes the other one right here where we have to get out with the 14 millimeter hex. So like I said, you crank it until it's something like that. You see that? Now you're gonna get a needle nose pliers, squeeze those two tabs, take the um, circ clip out of there. And then like I said, get a little piece of sandpaper, you know, like maybe like uh, a 400 grit on your finger and try to like sand down a little bit of carbon so it makes the wrist pin come out easier. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, like this, what I would do is put this in there, roll it in there, and yeah, just to lightly do it. Or maybe you could put a little, wrap it around a um, screwdriver, get in there, and just try to clean it up a little bit in there. And then maybe you spray it with some uh, WD-40, and then we're gonna get the tool. Now, the tool you're gonna get, it doesn't, it's not gonna look like this, because this, I made this one, but you're gonna have to have a tool. Okay, so I can't tell you how to make this one because I made this, out, you know, out of scrap metal I had lying around. All right, and this is gonna go in, and like I said before, that's gonna go in the other side of the wrist pin, hold it, and I'm gonna slap hammer it out. And you give it a nice couple of sharp hits until it comes out. Go. Okay, be careful for this uh, washer that was on the, the plug here. And that's how you get that out. And now what you do is you just twist, you just turn the uh, piston a little bit and then you crank it so the um, connecting rod pushes, pushes the uh, piston out of the cylinder. In case you're wondering why this block is apart, you see this one? That's a blown connecting rod. But people love not to change their oil. And when I said the needle nose, you use something like this. When it's in there, to take the uh, circ clip out of the piston. All right. And now, I've got this one going. sitting on the side. Let me just move it a little bit. Okay. And, ah, and there it goes. And like I said, just twist the piston inside the cylinder and pop them out. Now, like I said, you just turn the piston a little bit and then when you crank it, it's going to pop it out just like this. Get it a little bit far. A little bit so you can grab it. And they're very tight in there, so you gotta be careful. But they come out. Good to get a little, um, maybe a little, um, not sandpaper, but a little uh, scouring pad just on the tip over here. Maybe there's a little bit of carbon before you try to pull it out. There it come out, but these are worn, look at that. They're not supposed to show all that wear. That side, uh, that's all because of lack of lack of, lack of lubrication, and and that's it. All right, so that's how you take the pistons out. Uh, I'm gonna split this block. Gonna take the crank out. Uh, I ha I did a, a block split on a, a FB25. It's basically the same thing. It's just that over here, it's got an oil pump on the EJ. And the FB doesn't have it like that. It's on the uh, cover. And this is a time and belt motor. FB is a time and chain motor. So that's all we got right here. And I'm going to rebuild this like I said before. If you want to stay tuned for that series. All right, guys. Motor car nut. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Any questions pertaining to the video, leave them. I answer all my questions. Try to get you guys back on the road. As fast as possible, I appreciate a, a, a donation to the channel if you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and all your support.